Hello, welcome back to What Time, the channel with the focus on the NVIDIA Shield. So last week, NVIDIA introduced the update 8.0.2 to the 2015 and the 2017 models. And in this update, they've implemented the new Google rules on certification, which mean that the third party launchers can no longer be set as default. As we had the hot fixes for the 8.0.1 firmware, some 10 weeks ago, we put out a video showing you how to set up third party launchers as default and that covered for all launchers. Well, there's a link to that video in the top right hand corner. If you're using Sideload Channel Launcher 2, the, you can actually do all that from within the app. Today we're going to show you how to do that as well as applying another little tweak at the end of the video. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell to get notifications of our next video. Your support is very much appreciated. Let's get stuck in. Okay, we're, I'm going to assume that you're already using the latest, the currently latest version of Sideload Channel Launcher 2, which is 1.6.9. Um, if you're watching after today's date, which is the 29th of January 2020, uh, there will be a new version coming out very soon. So this guide will still be valid though. Okay, so opening it up, you're going to need to to enable accessibility. So the first thing we're going to do is go into settings and come down to device preferences, come all the way down to uh, second option from the bottom if you haven't got developer options enabled. So accessibility, go in there and come down to sideload channel launcher 2, click on that and enable it. Okay, okay. Right, so let's come out of there again and we are going to go into the app settings to set this up. That's the third option there. And you will see three options here, three that are relative to what we're kind of trying to do now. We've got select default launcher, accessibility, and launch on Lord's, launch side load channel launcher two on boot. Let's go through each of those uh, one by one. Now this first one, select default launcher will not work on the latest versions of the 2015, 2017 and the 2019 um, firmwares. So most recent on the 2015 and 2017 is 8.0.2 and on the 2019 it's 8.1.0 which is also going to be updated very shortly to 8.1.1 okay you won't be able to set it there you may be able to on older versions of uh, the firmwares on the nvidia shield on firmwares on the xiaomi box uh, and the mi cool km3 mi cool km1 um, those you might be able to do it on. So let's move on to accessibility. What we're going to do is to we're going to map a button to launch sideload channel 2. Now here what we're going to do is actually set the home button so that the home button will open up um, sideload channel. Okay we've got three options in there disable buttons original option at the bottom there forget that clear selected button that's when you've actually got something set up and you want to just clear it and then button to open sideload channel launcher 2 just a quick note there, there are notes there we're offering the use of an accessibility service to detect button presses so that you can configure an easier more accessible way to open sideload channel launcher 2 uh, goes on to dis just to mention that there's no personal information collected um, etc etc okay so on the button to open sideload channel launcher 2 when we press that when we click enter on that we're going to have three seconds to to press the button that we want to use to launch sideload channel launcher 2 in other words the home button okay so what I'm going to do is press enter and then the home button straight away so enter and the home button okay so now I've pressed the home button if I just check it that should take me to there we go to side load channel launch two. Okay, let's go back into settings. Third option there, and we're going to now 
we've done the, that part of the accessibility. The next thing to do is to launch Sideload Channel Launcher 2 on boot. Boom. OK, that's done. Important. Come down to the bottom and click Done. OK, let's do a quick test of this to make sure it, it works properly, that it will in, indeed boot into Sideload Channel Launcher 2. So I'm going to restart my box. Uh, restart and the shield will restart and I'm probably going to speed this up so that we don't have to watch a whole restart. Slight uh, quirk if you like uh, to this system when it does boot up you'll find that it it boots up normally you get into the Android circles spinning around and it will briefly drop into the Android TV home screen You'll see that just flash up before it loads up the um, Sideload Channel Launcher 2 screen. So here it goes, and it's going to briefly flash up the Android TV home screen and starts loading that, and then boom, straight into Sideload Channel Launcher 2. OK, that's done. There's a little, because of the way I set up my box, I like to also add another element to this. I like to um, go between the Android TV home screen and um, Sideload Channel Launcher 2 because I do certain things in one and other things in the other. For daily use I'd normally just be using this Sideload Channel Launcher 2 uh, with a minimal kind of setup with you know like tools over on one side, uh, settings, these are the minimal kind of accesses that I have video, my most used video items, and then maybe a favorite app that I might have there as well. OK, well, what I'm going to show you now is um, how to set up a quick set your home button. We've already got it worked, set out so that it, it does actually work. Um, let's just show that it works. Or if you're in, a, um, I don't know, let's say we're in our Ivacy app, and we want to go home, we press the home button and we go back to, that takes us back to the Sideload Channel Launcher home, home screen. Okay, what I like to do is set up the home button so that I can use it to do not only that, but on a long press, go to the Android TV home screen. So what we're going to have to do is to uh, drop into the uh, Play Store. And in Play Store, we're going to go up to search and click on that and button mapper we're going to install the button mapper app that'll just take a couple of moments and as soon as that's installed we will open it up now i've actually had this button mapper before i've there is a paid version and an unpaid <laughs> non unpaid version you can make donations i've already given a donation and that is why my screen will look slightly different to yours Button button mappers accessibility service is used to detect when buttons are pressed on your device so they can be remapped. So we will have to go into accessibility. So we go into just click OK on that. Now, as I mentioned, uh, I've made a donation to this. Yours might look a bit different because of certain um, problems I had with the the setup of the unpaid version. Um, the best way is to go down to add buttons but before we do that I'm going to press the home button and I'm going to go into settings again and we have to set up accessibility from device and as I said down the bottom again accessibility and we're going to have to set it allow button mapper enable that okay and then it will drop us back into button map mapper okay I've got the pro version as you can see there okay coming down to add buttons we're going to add a button and then you just press your home screen home button which took me back there let's go back into button mapper again okay so we've got the add buttons bit we've got that home has been added let's go into there we're going to um, we're going to customize single tap is default that's what we've already done we know that works the home button takes us home to the sideload channel launcher home okay 
Now in double tap what I like to do is to add in from make sure it's on actions at the top there come down to recents I put recents in there uh, so recents being all all apps that you've got open or have recently opened now in long press what I like to do is add home okay that's done let's come out of there uh, I'll press the home button and went back into side low channel launcher 2 okay if you long press the home button there we go we're back into um, the shield home screen shield controller 2 batteries are critically low I must do something about that um, double click will bring us there back to the recent and a short click on the home button will take us back to Sideload Channel Launcher 2. Okay, that's it. Hope that helps. Why not come and join us in the NVIDIA Shield TV Noobs, Nerds and Inbetweeners uh, Facebook group? And from there you can join our Sideload Channel Launcher 2 group where there's a very talented group of people who are willing to help you out and help you produce some stunning layouts. Come join us. Meanwhile, please subscribe to this channel. Give us a thumbs up. We'll catch you when you catch us in the next one. Doodle pip.